Lockhart in the first row with Mark Spears. Uh, Mark Spears, uh, ESPN Vanscape. Just want to see uh, with the amount of uh, Dominicans that do live in the Boston area, ha have you had uh, an opportunity to ingrain yourself in that community at all, or has it been, been tough to do that? Um, well, I mean, I, you know, from, from the time that I was here before, you know, I've, I've grown to have, um, uh, you know, good relationships here. And, um, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I know it's special. You know, a lot of people here are, are enjoying, you know, the ride of the group of our team. But yeah, um, it's fair to say that I've, I've been, um, you know, uh, in contact with the community for sure. Um, um, well, definitely, I, I have a list of restaurants, but I, I'm not going to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to share that. Um, there, there's a lot of them here, though. There, there, there's a lot of them here. Um, so some, some good go-tos. Um, not only here, but also in, in, there's a small community, Lawrence, Mass, that it's a little further north. Um, and then, um, and yeah, and then, you know, my, my church that I've been going here, um, but that's not only Dominican, it's, you know, all, all types of nationalities. Second row on the left, Mark Murphy. Mark Murphy, Boston Herald. Hey, Al. Uh, you talked about having a look at video the last game. They did do a pretty good job of restricting your shots. Uh, what do you see? What do you, what do you think you can free up to do? Yeah, you know, I, um, yeah. After, after looking at that, the, the one thing that you know that that we all felt, not only for me in general, it's just us being able to be in in um, uh, in, in the right positions when guys are making plays and making sure that we're giving um, some of our guys outlets and um, and the you know we just have better ball movement. Um, you know, I, we feel like uh, those things will open things up. You know, not only for me, but for for all the other guys. Do you see a lot of opportunities out there that you guys didn't necessarily see the other night? Yeah, yeah. After looking at the uh, at the film, uh, no question, there there are, um, you know, some areas that we can put ourselves in better positions to, you know, to be able to get shots, um, and uh, and it's something that, you know, that I'm I'm looking forward to for the next game. In the middle, fourth row. Hola, Omar Guzmán, Virus Deportivo, Televisión Dominicana. ¿Qué tú tienes que decirle a aquellas personas que no apuestan al juego en conjunto, más individual? En tu caso, ese tipo de juego, que es el que yo veo que tú ejerces, el de en conjunto, te ha llegado, te ha llevado hasta las finales. ¿Qué tú tienes que decirle a ese tipo de las personas que piensan de esa forma? Las personas que piensan de, de qué forma de a las personas que no apuestan al juego en conjunto. Ah, eh, sí. Eh, eh, pa, para mí, de la forma que que yo he tenido éxito en mi carrera y, de la, y, y como yo disfruto el juego, es jugarlo en, en equipo, en conjunto. Eh, yo sé que hay diferentes filosofías cuando se viene a hablar acerca de eso, pero yo en lo personal siento que a mí me ha resultado. Eh, yo he podido tener éxito en esta liga por muchos años, eh, con mis equipos por lo general, siempre jugando en equipo, jugando en conjunto. Eh, y ahora está, estamos en una posición de poder ganar un campeonato Y yo siento que siempre y cuando eh, uno juegue de esa forma, eh, eh, uno, eh, esa es la forma que a mí me gusta jugar, esa es la forma que yo disfruto y esa es la forma que yo siento que, que nos daría la mejor posición para ganar un campeonato. ¿Qué tanto impacta este nivel de juego a tu carrera? Eh, bueno, yo creo que tiene un gran impacto por, por el hecho de que eh, uno juega en la NBA. ¿sabe? Yo, yo nunca he sido un jugador que juega para llegar a juego de estrella para ser eh, para tratar de conseguir cosas individualmente lo mío siempre ha sido enfocado en el equipo jugar en conjunto eh, de eh, poner a mi equipo a brillar llevar a mi equipo a lugares eh, eh, que de, de juego competitivo y siempre han sido en los playoffs y obvio nunca hemos podido estar en esta posición yo nunca he podido estar en esta posición y ahora lo estoy y eh, el estar aquí es especial pero el ganar lo va a ser más especial first row in the middle Hey, uh, Shane Young with Ford Sports. I don't think you all have lost a uh, back-to-back game since late March. I think Jalen and Jason missed one of those games. 
if you had to point to one or two things that make up the scene's resilience and allow you to bounce back like this, what would it be? Um, uh, I think it's just the, um, you know, uh, the, the, the focus of our group, um, especially when we're faced with adversity. I feel like our group, um, we have shown, like you said, time and time again, we, we come closer, tighter, um, and, and we focus more on the things that we need to do. Um, and, and it's, you know, it's tough because, you know, it is competitive. Uh, you're playing at a high level, but I do believe that our group really, really locks in. And, um, and, and, and it's something that there's like that edge to us that we just want to be better. And we usually respond whenever we're, you know, whenever we're hit. Last row on the left. Oh, oh, Telemundo de Inglaterra, Jesús Quiñones. Eh, preguntarte solo, el ir a San Francisco, sacar una victoria, poder dividir esos juegos, regresar a casa con la afición, eh, ¿qué mentalidad se tiene cuando estás jugando bajo esas condiciones? Eh, eh, bueno, eh, siempre la mentalidad es jugar un juego a la vez. Eh, obvio, importante que pudimos ganar un juego allá. Y ahora el enfoque es proteger aquí la casa. Empezando este tercer juego es clave para nosotros. Eh, nosotros sabemos que es un equipo que, que es muy explosivo, pero eh, sí, esa parte de ahí por lo menos nos puso en una posición de poder defender la casa. Eh, y esa es la meta ahora mismo para nosotros, salir y tener un buen juego este tercer partido. On the left side, Sam Amick. Hi, Al. Sam Amick, The Athletic. Um, I'm wondering, we've reached the point of the series where you know, that both teams have been sharing the same oxygen for eight, nine days at this point. Got more competitive in game two, a lot of intense moments. But you also have these relationships on both sides, maybe Team USA, international play, where you know these guys well. Like, what's the mood at this point when it comes to, you know, just that clash of facing the same humans day after day? Uh, yeah, well, we've we've had some experience with that in the even in the past few series. Um, you know, just with the amount of times that, that you're having to face and play and talk about and study, and and that's just the way that the kind of the playoffs are. You know, at this point, so um, obviously you don't. You know, I don't care for anybody else other but our team. You know, I, I really don't. So you know, my focus is on our group, and and we have a job to do, and we're going to go out there and, and try to do it as best we can. We'll take two more questions on the right. Al Juan Nova Junior de República Dominicana, un placer estar aquí. Al, eh, has demostrado que la familia ante todo. Eh, lo vimos desde pequeño cuando tu padre te llevaba a las canchas allá en Santo Domingo. Y ahora vemos a tu hijo contigo. En este momento tan como se encuentra el mundo, ¿qué mensaje le darías a toda la familia alrededor del mundo? Y también, eh, ¿qué representa estar en unas finales por primera vez para un dominicano? Esa es la pregunta. Sí. Bueno, para, para mí, primeramente, es Dios ante todo. Eh, tú sabes, Dios me, me eh, ha sido muy misericordioso conmigo, me ha puesto en esta posición para, para yo brillar y para yo estar en este lugar. Eh, y, y es algo que me siento agradecido. Mi familia es algo muy importante para mí y poder compartir esto con mi hijo, con mis hijas, eh, mi esposa, mis padres, eh, es algo que eh, me llena... De, de mucha alegría, eh, porque hay mucho sacrificio que viene con esta temporada. La gente no, no ve, no entiende, no percibe, pero son eh, en el verano mucho tiempo trabajando eh, fuera de la casa, eh, durante la temporada por igual. Y ahora en estos momentos que uno ha trabajado tan duro, uno poder gozarse con ellos y que ellos estén, sean parte de esto, es algo muy especial para mí. Para mí un orgullo como dominicano estar en esta posición, en esta plataforma, representando nuestro país, eh, eh, es un, un sueño para mí. Eh, yo de chiquito me acuerdo viendo las finales allá, las transmisiones de Ernesto Cranwinkel eh, y todos esos grandes comentando de los juegos de, de Chicago y de todo su equipo. Y yo de niño eh, emocionado, engranojado, eh, soñando de tener una oportunidad un día eh, y, y la, la estoy viviendo, la estoy viviendo ahora mismo y de verdad que yo no me lo creo, pero, pero me gozo, o sea, me gozo el momento y yo sé que yo no solo represento a mí, a mi familia, yo represento a un pueblo y también a muchos de esos jugadores dominicanos que han venido antes de mí 
eh, y, y me han permitido estar en esta posición. Eh, no, un mensaje a la gente allá, eh, que, que nos sigan apoyando, que, que los Celtics nosotros, nosotros vamos, vamos a estar bien. Last question, first row on the right. Michael Pina from Sports Illustrated. Um, Al, from your first stint with the Celtics to now, what growth have you seen from Jalen Brown and just how critical has his maturation been to this entire era of Celtics basketball? Uh, huge growth uh, from Jalen. Um, uh, uh, you know, Jalen, uh, you know, came in the league and everybody, you know, knew the the abilities, the, you know, the potential that he had and all those things. But um, it's it's uh, not only his game, it's his poise, his maturation, um, him being a leader on the team. He's one of our leaders. Um, the the way that he takes care of himself, take care of his of his body, um, uh, you know, the work that he's putting in, all those things have paid off for him. And when he was, you know, when he got here as a rookie, um, you know, I, I don't know if I could have said any of those things. I mean, he was, has always been a, a great guy and things like that, but he just, he didn't understand obviously how to be a, be a pro, be in these positions. He had some ability, but the growth that I've seen with him over the years, it's, it's really impressive and, and he continues to grow. Um, and, and improve, but just from him understanding on, you know, how to play team ball, how to embrace challenges. Um, he has been challenged a lot this year and he responds. Um, that's the one thing that, that I've seen with him. So that, that's the one thing that I'm most proud of him. Just, just the way that he's able to, you know, embrace challenges, respond and, and deliver. Thank you, Al. Yeah. Marcus Smart will be.